mass flow ka numerical analysis numerical differentiation string interpolation formulas for derivatives youtube channel mass flow ka provide you easy mathematics techniques whatsapp number email address my name is said amasha i am professor in quest nawasha bismillah rahman rahim topics finite difference table string interpolation formulas for derivatives derivatives on center of table values we have information in the form of a table we have five points equal length of interval problem here we, we are seeking the center for the transformation a plus 2h is a center subtracting a plus 2h uh, with a plus 2h then we get the zero a plus 3h minus a plus 2h so we have h a plus 4h minus a plus 2h we have 2h a plus h minus a plus 2h we have minus h a minus a plus 2h so we have minus 2h this transformation we are saying say u then instead of f of x we are writing f of u writing f of a for all the transformation f minus 2 f of a plus h writing f minus 1 because here is minus 2 so we can write f minus 2 minus 1 we can write f minus 1 0 we can write f not h means so 1h so we can write f1 2h it means we can write f2 finite difference table <coughs> uh, writing the values of u in first column writing the values of f of u in second column taking the first differences f minus 1 minus f minus 2 say delta f minus 2 f not minus f minus 1 say delta f minus 1 f1 minus f not say delta f not f2 minus f1 say delta f1 taking the second differences delta f minus 1 minus a delta f minus 2 say delta 2 f minus 2 delta f not minus delta f minus 1 say delta 2 f minus 1 delta f1 minus delta f not say delta 2 f not taking the third difference is delta 2 f minus 1 minus delta 2 f minus 2 say delta 3 f minus 2 delta 2 f not minus delta 2 f minus 1 say delta 3 f minus 1 taking the four difference delta 3 f minus 1 minus delta 3 f minus 2 say delta 4 f minus 2 mark the center draw the diagonals <coughs> applying the string interpolation formulas for derivatives Derive strings interpolation formulas for derivatives. From the interpolation, writing the string formula. Taking the derivative by using the chain rule. Simply writing the equation number one. Differentiate equation number one after simplifying. respect to u get the derivative differentiate equation number 2 this equation number 2 respect to x substituting the values in equation number 3 now 3 becomes so we are substituting the values dy by du here this value And du by dx getting from the second equation of substituting here. Say equation number six. 
differentiating respect to x we get again differentiating equation number 6 by using the chain rule substituting the values after simplifying take the derivative 1 by h is a constant say 1 by h is square take the derivative delta y naught is a constant delta y1 is a constant divided by 2 so the derivative of the constant is 0 similarly the derivative of u is 1 so delta 2 y minus 1 similarly differentiated 6u minus 0 divided by 6 or uh, this is the multiple constant it is the same after simplifying 6 cancel out 6 then we have equation number 7 from 6 and 7 we know that our dash of x naught and our double dash of x naught that x is equal to x naught then u becomes 0 when you are putting here <coughs> In equation x naught, it means u will be zero. Substituting u equal to zero in equation number six and seven. First, we are substituting in equation number six. Here, as u is equal to zero, so it will become zero. Then simplify it. So we have uh, this formula. Similarly, we are putting u is equal to zero in seven equation number seven. So we have this formula. So these are the two formulas which are used to calculate the derivative at the value on the center. We want to calculate the derivative on the center values. First and second, we will have to use these two formulas. Apply these formulas in on the problem. Calculate f dash 1.4, f double dash 1.4. The data which is given in the form of a table. First, we will have to check the length. It is the equal length of problem 1 minus 2 minus 1. It means 0 0.2, 1.4 minus 1.2, 0 0.2. 1.6 minus 1.4, 0 0.2, 1.8 minus 1.6, 0 0.2. Length is same, say it is equal length of an interval problem. <coughs> For transformation, mark the center value, subtracting center value with center value, say 0, 1.6 minus 1.4, say 0 0.2, 1 1.8 minus 1.4, say 0 0.4, 1.2 minus 1.4, say minus 0 0.2, 1 minus 1.4, say minus 0 0.4. The value of f of x is not too large, so we are taking the same values or we are saying say f of x is equal to f of u. So the transformation becomes u and f of u. Finite difference table writing the first value of u in the first column writing second column for all the values of the f of u taking the first difference 3.3201 minus 2.7183 4.0552 minus 3.3201 4.953 minus 4.0552 6.0496 minus 4.953 Similarly, taking the second differences, <coughs> taking the third differences, or taking the fourth difference. Mark the center value. The against value of center f of u is 4.0552. Draw the diagonals. Applying the formulas, stilling interpolation formulas for derivative using the first derivative formula, using the second derivative formula. Here h is equal to 0 0.2, u is equal to 0, or x is equal to 1.4. 
in the given problem you have let's see x is equal to 1.4 or u is equal to 0 h is 0 0.2 u is equal to 0 center value is 0 or before transformation the center value was 1.4 at dash of x naught 1 over 0 0.2 <coughs> putting the values from the uh, finite difference table delta y naught delta y1 substituting the values delta 3 y minus 1 delta 3 y minus 2 at the value 1.4 we have this data 0 means 1.4 <coughs> similarly the second derivative substituting the values then we get the derivative at that value is 4.0535 this is called the end of the lecture.